What's good, Popper fans? Brian Cook, and tonight we're playing Goblin Combo, sometimes known as Mogwarts. This deck is based around a key interaction. So first day of class is a common for some reason, and it's a two-mana instant that says whenever a creature would enter the battlefield this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn, and then it has learn. So the learn ability allows you to either discard a card and draw a card, or you can get a lesson card from your sideboard, put that card to your hand. Pretty powerful. Well, the plus one plus one interaction is the main reason we play this card, but the learn effect is obviously very good as well. So with first day of class, it adds a plus one plus one counter to a creature, as I've said twice now. Well, with putrid goblin, it has persist, which puts a negative one, negative one counter. Well, when this comes back into play, a negative negative counter and a plus one plus one counter negate each other out, and your creature is back to being normal, which means that if it would die, it would come back again. So that means that this creature can't die this turn. Well, when you have an effect like Skirk Prospector, you get to make infinite red mana. That's pretty powerful. Well, what can you do with infinite red mana? Well, this first day of class gets a lesson card from your sideboard. When you have infinite red mana, Introduction to Prophecy ends up looking pretty good. It's just a free preordain. So you look for a card that allows you to win with infinite red mana, which might be something like Makeshift Munitions or this Flamewood Invoker. And then you have cards like Goblin Matron to search for those or Shred Memory. There's really a lot of ways to abuse infinite mana in this deck. So that's what we're looking to do today. We're looking to assemble that three card combo. That's what this deck is based around. And then we have a little bit of utility in the deck, like a few copies of Duress, this Mass Vandal to blow up an artifact or enchantment, because while opposing copies of makeshift munitions tend to be pretty difficult to beat. Uh, but everything else other in this deck, it's either something that finds your combo or enables your combo, or it's just a really good powerful card so deadly dispute for example is so good that we're playing an artifact sub theme just for this card because it feels a lot like ancestral recall in this format when you get to sacrifice something like chromatic star or ecker wellspring and then in the sideboard we have an additional copy of dress for opposing combo decks sometimes control decks kumbaya which is primarily for those blue decks in the format the fairy strategies this used to be goblins uh what is it called sparksmith yeah, that's what it's called, Goblin Sparksmith. But Kumbaya, which is just honestly makes more sense. It's a little bit more difficult to cast, so I, I'm not convinced that it's perfect. This deck has way more red mana in it than it does black mana, but this card deals you far less damage while not stopping you from continuing your strategy. That was always a problem with Goblin Sparksmith, is you had to limit the number of goblins you played or else it would bite you in the tush. So I think Kumbaya, which is, is pretty solid. Gorilla Shaman for those... Uh, artifact strategies like affinity cart clan shaman i actually really really like this card and i think that there should probably be another uh in the sideboard uh just a small note this is not my deck list this is hamuda's deck list they are a super powerful magic the gathering pauper wizard definitely go follow all their content they make videos as well but this is their deck list they took third in a recent challenge i'm just copy pasting it and we're going to play some magic today so shout outs to them for the deck list but i would like to see one more copy of Kark clan shaman in the board we have four copies of pyroblast for those blue decks a fiery candidate primarily for the blue decks but you can board it in against decks like elves or something like that if you need to uh, another copy of mass vandal for Artifact enchantments, all that good stuff. Once again, you have to be able to beat another makeshift munitions. And then the two prophecies for your first day of class. That's the entire deck. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. But that's my deck tech. I know short and sweet. I own this deck in paper. I love it. I goldfish it all the time. I just have like a English non-foil version and I just love shuffling it, drawing up seven and then assembling my three card combo. It's so relaxing. Uh, this deck is fairly cheap. There's no Lotus Petals in it. I believe I bought my version of the deck for roughly $40. Uh, according to MTG Goldfish, this deck is 50 tickets online. I'm sure it's probably even cheaper in paper, but uh, actually, I guess I could check that right now. Um, $55. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty affordable. I really, really like this deck, but that's what I've got. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to the first match, we are on the play with Goblin Combo. Alright, so here we don't have any of the pieces of the combo, but I do think that this hand is a keep. So we're going to try this out. Okay, we'll play the bridge and just pass the turn here. Swamp. Okay, and they're passing. Let's cast this duress. What are you playing? Ah, uh, it's the red black burn deck. Okay. Um. I guess I take the fodder since it's consistent removal for my combo. And then we can just play the Carnarium. Pick up the bridge. Pass the turn. So I would expect them to play Carnarium here. Uh, they could also play the Vault of Whispers and then Vampire's Kiss, which is what looks like their play is, because that gives them the Kitchen Imp next turn. All right, I'm going to start off with the Faithless Looting. So Shred Memory gets us a little bit of the way there. It's kind of slow. Um, might be worth keeping here, though. I think we can ditch double land. Play the bridge, play star and pass. There's some question there on if I should have kept the extra land over on Earth. I don't feel strongly either way, but... We do have this like deadly dispute in our hand, and I'm going to sacrifice the star, so I get to see three cards next turn. The odds we draw a land are pretty high. Okay, so they're going to get in for two with the imp. We go to 16, draw, munitions. Let's cast this deadly dispute, draw three, draw. There's a land. Okay, so we found part one of the combo. And I think I'm just going to flash back the looting here, because I can discard the Putrid Goblin and then unearth it. Okay, so now we have uh, two halves of the combo. Discard the Goblin. We don't need the Shred Memory anymore. It can't get us the missing piece. Alright, pass. We have 43 cards in deck, so we're roughly 30% of the way through our library. The Kitchen Imp gets in, we'll go to 14. So they still have one Vampire's Kiss in hand. All right, and they just use that. So we know that they have Looting and uh, some Unknowns. Draw. 
Okay, I think I'm just going to Deadly Dispute here. All right, so we didn't hit the missing piece. I'm just going to put a few goblins into play this turn. We just have to find Skirk Prospector. And pass. We're at 12, so we could be dead here. Galvanic Blast brings us to 8. They already have Kitchen Imp. Looks like they're considering using a blood token. And they do. Okay. So now we go to 6. They have 5 cards in hand, and they only need to deal 6 damage, so we should be dead here. I just never found the Prospector, unfortunately. Deadly Dispute, they're up to six cards now. Gav Blast, I'm at two. I should be dead here. And then they have Bump. Okay. Yep. So that happened. Draw a card. Matron would have done it. So we were one card away, unfortunately. All right, game two. We don't really have any life gain in our sideboard. This deck used to play a copy of Weather the Storm to get with Shred Memory. And then you have Chromatic Star and Deadly Dispute for green mana, but the deck's moved away from that. So we don't have any sort of life gain for this matchup. Um, Mass Vandal does blow up some of their artifacts or enchantments. Is that better than something like Duress? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think Duress is particularly good here, so I'm not against boarding it out. Maybe we keep one, I'm not sure. Let's try this out. And you want the Mass Vandal, in case you didn't realize, for Nile Spellbomb. Uh, it's a card that we really need to answer in order to win the game, so we want more answers to it. Triple first day of class. We're going to take a mulligan here. Okay, so once again, this hand just needs a, um, a Skirk Prospector, and then it's an easy turn three win. We'll keep and bottom a bridge. Okay, play the bridge, pass. Mountain into Nile Spellbomb. So they open-handed their answer. A little bit of a bummer. Um, let's just play munitions, I guess. Whoops, I tapped wrong. Okay. Vault of Whispers. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. So now they get our first day of class and our hand doesn't really do anything. A lot of cyborg cards here. Okay, that's a good rip. Play the goblin and just play the carnarium, picking up the swamp. One has six cards in hand. Really? They're just going to use the spell bomb like that? Okay, I mean, I'll take that deal all day. All day I'll take that. Draw. Okay, I think I'm just going to cycle this star. Add a red. Let's just draw. Fortunately, another land. Pass the turn. So we need both goblins in order to win this game at the moment. Alms of the Veins the hard way for three mana. Sure, draw. Flooding out a little bit here. Uh, actually, I was supposed to play Vault of Whispers. Our opponent didn't know that we had Greed Furnace. That was a small mistake. Ah, uh, another duress. It's brutal. Uh, I was F six. So what I could have done there was cast the first day, discarding a land to draw a card. Um, but I would have drawn another land. We are not in a good spot here. I need to draw a Faithless Looting. I should start holding some of these lands. But I could have rummaged away a land there. So that was a small misplay. Draw. Deadly Dispute's fine. Okay. Play the Matron. And we're going to get the Putrid Goblin here. It's the goblin we have fewer of, so that's the one you want to get. We still have some prospectors, um, so you're more likely to draw a prospector, I guess is my point. 
Vampire's Kiss, we go to nine. Could be dead soon. Our opponent still has three cards. If we get to untap and our opponent doesn't kill us, um, I guess that's the point. But if I draw Unearth, I can sacrifice the Goblin Matron to the Munitions and then Unearth it for the Prospector and win. They tapped out here. If we draw a Prospector, this is a win. Maybe I should have sacrificed the Goblin anyway. All right, uh, that should do it. Okay. Yes, go get Prospector. Play the Prospector. Okay. And then we can sacrifice these two. First day of class. Go get the introduction. Sacrifice the Putrid Goblin. Persist ability. This ability. Okay, and our opponent's at 33, so it's going to take me a while here. Just sacrificing this goblin over and over. I'm going to quit narrating this, but eventually I'll stop once I have roughly uh, 35 mana or so. All right, actually, I just thought about this. So I've made 24 mana. I'm going to cast the introduction because I think getting the... Um, well, these are both stinky. If I hit the another matron, I could have... And I didn't, so I have to do it the hard way. But if I hit another Matron or an Unearth, I could have just gotten the Flame Wake Invoker, which would have won a lot more quickly. But instead, I just have to build up to 35-ish mana and then sacrifice the Goblin over and over to the Makeshift Munitions. All right, so now we're going to start sacrificing this over and over. Save our targets. Trying to do this a little bit more efficiently. Okay. This is uh, what you got to do. This is part of winning the game sometimes. And no fault to the opponent, by the way. Some people get really upset that your opponent won't concede. Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. And our opponent just conceded now after we showed them that they're dead to the munitions. Okay. So maybe I should have done that first. Now we're going into game number three on the draw. I don't think I have any reason to change how I boarded, so I'm just going to resubmit the same 75. Game three on the draw. We have double first day of class, no black mana. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think you're probably supposed to mulligan that. And this seems fine. Uh, all we need is mana, and then this is a win. Let's get rid of the Sekir Wellspring. Opponent on a mulligan to five here. Great Furnace into the Spell Bomb again. So there is hard mulliganing to Nile Spell Bomb. Pass the turn. Mountain. And another Spell Bomb. Okay, we might have to go beat down this game. Play the Putrid Goblin. Pass. Opponent has two cards in hand. And they're passing the turn. Draw. Let's Faithless Looting. Discard the... Unearth and Wellspring? Is that what we're doing here? Probably don't need Double Matron. That's probably... Let's play the Ecker. Okay. And get in there. Attempt to put you to 18. No removal spell, good deal. Their turn. Opponent's passing. Draw. Um, I think I'm just going to play a matron here. Wish we had a big dumb beater goblin right now. I think I just get another putrid goblin. Hiya! I am the aggro. My opponent's passing. They're desperate for a black mana here. Let's play the Icar Wellspring again. Draw. 
Okay. Play this chromatic star. And another goblin. Get in there. So if they sack one of these spell bombs, I can win. Uh, I mean, it's unlikely, but it's possible. And they're just passing back. Draw. Um, do I get them here? Actually, let's attack first. All right, they're at six life. Uh, let's... Should I flashback the looting first? I don't know. I just don't know. All right, let's flashback the looting. All right, I'm just going to play it safe and cast the unearth, make them sacrifice a spell bomb. Fiery temper. Sure. You got it. That was the reason I actually didn't go for it this turn. You might not want to believe me, but it's true. Uh, because I already had lethal on board and our opponent was at six life, so there's no reason for me to make this play. And our opponent has given up and conceded, so we are 1-0 with Goblin Combo and Pauper. Stick around, I hope you enjoyed the final four matches of this league. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two, we're on the play with goblins. Yup, keep this. Good hand. So we have the matron here to get prospector. We have a little bit of redundancy with unearth. We just have to find the first day of class. Play the bridge and pass that turn. Bajuka bog. Why would you play that against me? That's just offensive. Also, a little bit of disrespect. Like, I'm known as the Cycle Storm guy, and you're just throwing away bazooka bogs against me? The audacity. The reality is they probably have something like the Bounce Land. I was just saying this, and then they pick up the bazooka bog. Ideally, they wouldn't have wanted to telegraph that, but it's not the end of the world. Um, we'll play the bridge and pass here, and then on their end step, we can de deadly dispute looking for that first day. The golden egg. You got it. Okay. And we will sacrifice this chromatic star. Let's auto yield to that trigger. And another deadly dispute. Okay. So we are still just lacking the prospector. Oh, or I meant the first day of class. So does that do it? Um, so I can go matron... I think I'm one mana short. I'm trying to think here. Um, so Matron for Prospector. With using these. And then I can play Prospector. Hmm. I'm just going to go step by step. Matron. Step by step, day by day, or something like that, right? That's the joke. Um, yeah. So we're playing Goblin Matron. You have to be old to get that reference, by the way. Sorry, Zoomers. Grab that Prospector. So if we play Prospector, tapping this, sacrifice the Matron, we can play Putrid Goblin. But then we're short on mana. Um, trying to think if there's a better way of doing this. So you play Prospector, you can sack the Matron, play the Putrid Goblin off this. You can sack the Goblin, but you're one red short of first day winning. I think you just have to play the Prospector and pass here. 
It's unfortunate, but like you're one mana short. There's not a whole lot you can do. And they're going to remove the Prospector, which is fine. We have backup Prospectors. Really not the end of the world. Okay, they picked up their egg. I believe... No, we, we're at this... No, we do get to win here. We do get to win here. Because now we have one more Goblin in play. Go grab that other Prospector. Let's play it. Sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Play the Putrid Goblin. Sacrifice the Putrid Goblin. With that trigger on the stack, we'll cast First Day of Class. So the reason you do it with the trigger on the stack here is that when this comes back, it doesn't care when you cast that first day as long as that it's cast. So this persist ability hasn't resolved yet. It will come back. The first day of class will now trigger and you no longer have any counters on this goblin. So now you have the infinite mana combo and we'll sacrifice this future goblin over and over. Okay. And we'll show our opponent that they're dead here because we have the Flame Wake Invoker or Flame Wood Invoker. It's probably Flame Wake. It's something Invoker. We're going to invoke. Flame Wave Invoker. All right. And our opponent's conceded the game. So we've gotten game number one over this Boros Bounce deck featuring a main deck Bajuka Bog. Okay. I don't even know if you're supposed to sideboard here. Maybe you want like a duress because they tend to be a removal heavy deck. Board off the shred memory. I don't hate the other mass vandal, but I don't know what you would cut for it. I think we probably just submit this. This deck's so good. I'm missing a few of the cards for this spe specific version. Um, when I built my paper goblin stack, it was pre call time, so I don't own mass vandals, for example. Greg, okay. Play a bridge past the turn. Another crag. So many crags. Duress hits. What? I guess we take removal here. Play another bridge past the turn. And they're playing the spare supplies, looking for a land. They don't hit. Draw. I think I'm just going to cast... Hmm. I'm going to play the goblin, I think. And then let's looting. Get rid of this and the goblin. So th they can Lightning Bolt, but I have this Unearth already. We're just looking for the rest of the combo here. Icker Wellspring next turn plus Deadly Dispute is going to see four cards, which is pretty nice. Okay, another Spare Supplies and another Mist Land Drop. Draw. Okay, let's play the Icker Wellspring. Triggers. Another Unearth. Beautiful. And let's Deadly Dispute, draw. Okay, so now at this point, we're just missing the first day of class. So many unearths. Journey to Nowhere, you got it. Draw, another Putrid Goblin. Um, I'm going to cycle this Chrome Star here. Let's add a red. Okay. Flashback the looting. We'll just get rid of these lands. And I'm going to cast an unearth here on the goblin. Just don't want to get got by a potential Bujuka bog. Glint Hawk, sure. Picking up the spare supplies. Raven Inspector draw. I mean, they're just going to lightning bolt our goblin in response here, but that's fine. Yep. Prismatic Strands. That's a little bit obnoxious. 
Okay. Um, I think I'm going to cycle on an earth here. We did not hit. Let's play the munitions. All right, I'm just going to pass the turn. When it gets in, we go to 18. Draw. I'm going to cycle this on Earth. We just have to find an action spell. I guess the action spell is first day. Dispute. Okay. Picker Wellspring. And pass. So if they do stuff like that, they're actually creating windows for me to kill them when they don't have three mana open. But I just don't have the first day quite yet. Yep, we go to 15 here. Of course, Skyfisher picking up what? Spare supplies, okay. I'm going to sacrifice a treasure token here. I don't think mana is a choke point, and I'm just going to get rid of that Icar Wellspring. Still no first day. Play the Matron. Yes. I mean, I could get the Flamewood Invoker and then like start looking at just like blasting my opponent for five damage at a time. Um. Or I can get another Prospector to insulate my combo a little bit. I don't think I have another creature in the graveyard at the moment. I do not. What's the choice? This is eight to activate. Maybe I just get that. I don't know. Play the Carnarium. Picker Wellspring. Okay, so that's our first. Um, all right, let's sack this matron. Play this. And now if they decide to spend any mana that they shouldn't, we can just kill them in response. Pass the turn. Spare supplies is back. Okay, and they're just representing that Prismatic Strands. If we find another first day, they're dead and it won't matter. Because you can just kill them with the Prismatic Strands on the stack. Um, I'll just draw. Okay. Um, let's play the Vandal here. We'll blow up the Journey to Nowhere. Okay. Red 11. I guess we can go to combat. Target this with the Icar Wellspring Sacrifice. So now the Thraven Inspector will die. We don't care about this Goblin dying. That doesn't matter. Play the Flamewood. Pass the turn. Golden Egg, sure thing. Clint Hawk. Can I please find another first day? I wonder if I'm supposed to kill these creatures. Uh, I can kill at least the Glint Hawk. That would put me to seven. So I'd be dead to Bolt Plus, whatever it's called. Uh, let's kill the Glint Hawk, I think. Have this for a black, and then we'll sacrifice the treasure token. All right, we go to nine. Draw. Come on, deck, please give me another first day. Let's kill the Glint Hawk, I guess. Draw. There we go. Our opponent's dead. First day of class. First day of class. 
And now we just have to execute the combo. Sure thing. And our opponent has conceded the game, so now we are in fact 2 and 0, oh, 3 rounds left. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens, that's 128 tokens total, and they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition, a galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live. Eve progenitor ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then squirrels versus goblins, chatterstorm versus empty the warrens, the battle of the ages. You definitely need 20 squirrel tokens and 20 goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three, and once again, we get to be on the play. So we have the bridge, we have the putrid goblin. I don't know if we're supposed to keep this, but you can't stop me. You're not here to tell me not to, so I'm going to keep it. We have the faithless looting, and I'm just going to accept leaning pretty hard on that. What could possibly go wrong with keeping a one land hand, am I right? Nothing bad has ever happened to anyone when they've done that. Swamp, draw. All right, Faithless Looting. See, I had it the whole time. You just didn't have any faith in me. And now we can bring back our Matron. And then with the Matron, we can go get the Prospector. See, it's really just Goblin Reanimator sub-themes. What's nice about this is we can also sacrifice the Matron to Deadly Dispute on our turn. Draw. Let's get in there. Hiya. Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Matron. Beautiful. All right, Chrome Star, pass the turn. At this point, we're just looking for our first day of class. Land number three. Draw. Pick our wellspring. Draw. Okay. Pick up the mountain. I'm just going to pass the turn here. If your opponents are doing the thing that our opponent's doing right now, which is just posturing, holding open removal, it's really easy to bully that in my experience. Rogues. Sure thing. And they chose to keep the card on top of their deck. Now they're getting in there. We go to 17. Kumbaya Witches. Okay. Bajuka Bog. It's not very nice. All right. So I'm going to... Cycle this Chrome Star here. I just want to dig as far as I can for that first day. Draw. And then we'll sacrifice this and the Icker Ball Spring. Give me first day of class. I demand it. There we go. Time to attempt to win the game. First day of class. Play the Goblin. Triggers. Skirt Prospector. We have an open black mana, so even if our opponent has a removal spell here for the Skirk Prospector, I can bring it back to life. And it looks like they don't have anything. Okay. I'll just show them that they're dead then. Yes. We'll get the flame void or flame wake or flame wave invoker. I never remember the name of this stuff. Okay. 
I'm going to quit narrating this and just make a bunch of red mana. I'll see you in a few minutes. Our opponent has gotten bored and conceded the game. Thank you, opponent, and we are off to game number two. I think we could probably just submit the same 75 against a black deck. See, I told you nothing was going to go wrong with that one land hand. It went fine. You just got to have some faith. A little bit of George Michael in your life. You'll be fine. Game two on the draw, and this hand is terrific. We're definitely going to keep this. The Shred Memory represents a first day of class. We already have the Goblin Matron for either half. Great keep. Draw. And there's a Prospector. Swamp into Kumbaya Witches. Okay. Draw. I'm going to Looting. Hmm. I don't think I want the munitions. Play Chrome Star and pass the turn. Chittering Rats, that's fine. An opponent representing our ability to win quickly. Love it. Uh, I think I'm just going to sacrifice this Chrome Star here. You could play the Icar Wellspring and hope to hit a land, but I'd rather just take three uh, chances at hitting the land here. And pass. Ouch. Okay. I don't know what this is. Marsh Titan? So it's just a big dumb beater. Sure. Let's cast the Ecker Wellspring. Draw. Another Wellspring. Okay. So I'm going to use this Matron to get another copy of Skirk Prospector. Because right now, this Kumbaya Witches is stopping us from winning. And we can always use the Shred Memory to go get the Putrid Goblin. And our Goblin Matron dies as expected. One has five open mana. We'll take six here going down to 11. We have to start to worry about Grey Merchant. Oh, and here it is. Okay, so they're giving us a window to win here if I can find the Putrid Goblin. Draw. Yes! First day. Grab that introduction. Prospector. Actually, I don't think this actually wins. Did I mess up? Yeah, I'm a mana short. Uh, sacrifice this goblin. Ah, I didn't even realize that it was a mana short. If that was the case, I was supposed to rummage. Um, can't believe I messed this up. I got so excited that I that I hit that I didn't think about my mana. So I can play another prospector, but it still doesn't do the job. It's embarrassing. Um, and we're just dead on board. All right, let's concede. I'm going to draw my top card. Let's see if I would have hit the untapped mana source. All right, didn't matter. Game three. I'm just going to submit this. Game three on the play. Sure. Furnace, Chrome Star, pass that turn. Bog. I have been bogged. Born in the do bog, die in the bog, or something like that, right? Draw. Putrid Goblin. So now we're a first day of class away. I'm just going to play this out. In case I get lucky and draw into it. Evil Presence, sure. Draw. I'm going to Deadly Dispute. Actually, do I want to keep the Chrome Star? I might want to. Let's just cast the Ecker Wellspring. Get in there. I'm an aggro deck. I guess maybe I should have sacrificed the Chrome Star. I don't know. 
They're giving us a window to win here if I find first day. I did not, though. Three cards. Okay, um... Let's... Is there really a point to me doing that? I guess I can play the Hecker Wellspring. And just pass. And our opponent holding open the Kumbaya, which is, which is, we have double Prospector. I don't think that's actually a concern. Durasu. We'll get rid of this. Let's Deadly Dispute the Icker Wellspring. I'll draw three. Looting. Just looking for that first day. No such luck. Um, get rid of the munitions and... I don't know. Probably Prospector 3. And we'll pass. We are 33% of the way through our deck at this point. Spell bomb. A little bit annoying, but we have all the tools as long as we find first day. All right. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do here. Let's play the makeshift munitions. Just pass. Evil Presence again, sure. Draw. Um, I have a red source now. Let's just sacrifice this and draw a card. See if I get lucky in it the first day. I just want to go to school. Is that too much to ask? Flashback. Get rid of the Matron and... The bridge. Picker Wellspring. Get in there. So if they block, we can trade creatures, but it's not a good exchange for them. I think they realize that, and now they're passing. A little bit unfortunate for our opponent that we're going into turn number seven, and they have not seen a third land. Draw. There we go. Okay. First day of class. Prospector. Auto yield to this trigger. We will sacrifice this in response. Yes, I realize I just lost that on a point of damage. That doesn't matter. Play another Prospector. And now we make infinite mana. So they can respond with this Goblin with the Nile Spell Bomb, but it just doesn't matter. Like, no matter what they do, we have the win here. Sure, they can draw a card. None of this matters. They're dead. Sacrifice the Putrid Goblin. Okay. Again and again. I wonder if I could just like attack them faster. I don't know. Play another prospector. Future goblin. Let's get in there. How much is this? Mirror, mirror on the wall. See, it barely had to do any work. This was way better. Um, target them, sack the Wellspring, and our opponent concedes. We're 3-0. Deck is so good. Two rounds left. Let's see if we can get that trophy. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, 
But that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Round four, we're on the draw. This hand's terrific. Easy keep. Vault of Whispers into Bump. So the red black burn deck again. All right, we'll just play Bridge and Pass. Carnarium, sure thing. Draw. Let's play this Duress. Take the looting. And then pick up our land. So right now they're stuck with... Uh, so they drew a mountain. So I was going to say they're stuck with uh, a bunch of red cards, but only black mana. Not the case anymore. Matron, we'll go pick up a Putrid Goblin. Sure thing. Pass that turn. Bolt. Bolt. Interesting. I expected them to cast Fiery Temper there and keep open Lightning Bolts to stop me from winning, but that was not the case. Faithless Looting. And now they're going to Fiery Temper. Okay. So if I find first day class here, we have a win. No first day. Uh, I'm going to try Faithless Looting. Cure to the Mass Vandal and the Munitions, I think. No, I think I just want the guaranteed win if I find the uh, the first day. So let's tap this. I will duress them. Take their Lightning Bolt. All right, so I'm going to play Chrome Star in the Prospector here. Just saves me mana. Right now with their hand, they can't uh, target our creature, so it's fine. Deadly Dispute was a good draw for them. So they have the Vampire's Kiss and two unknown cards. Vampire Epicure. Using the Blood Token immediately. Okay. Um... Let's Ancestral Recall and sacrifice this Chromatic Star and draw three cards. Unearth. No first day. Problem is I'm pretty close to death here. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice the Vault of Whispers. Okay, so I think we have a win here. Sacrifice the Matron. First day of class. Black. Red. I'm nervous because if they kill the Prospector, um, I can't unearth it. Future Goblin. Okay. Sack the Goblin. Okay, looks good so far. Just doing our thing. Show them the munitions. And a concession. Nice. Okay. One more win this round. Bring in the Vandal again. Yeah, I just don't like dress in this matchup. I really do wish that there was like a weather in the board though. But maybe one weather for one tread memory just isn't good enough. Like, that's also a possibility. Okay. I mean, it's not the world's best hand, but it's fine. Bridge. Hiya. Faithless looting. Fiery temper. Goodbye, Screw Prospector. It's been real. I think I'm actually going to play the Icar Wellspring here instead of the Carnarium. Vault of Whispers is fine. I've been bumped. Draw. 
we'll just play the matron here looking for the putrid goblin i can always unearth this prospector it doesn't really matter that it's dead what we're really looking for right now is the um first save class and then we can win the game a flashback looting kitchen imp you got it come on first day off the top rope please give me an easy win let's go to the fifth match draw not quite um play the carnarium pick this up get in there we're an aggro deck too vampire's kiss and another kitchen imp okay deck i am asking you please give me a first day of class right here Ooh, draw the spell bomb was good for them honestly i think we're just dead even if they didn't have the spell bomb uh because we never found first day cast the unearth see if they spell bomb and they let that happen i mean it doesn't really matter we can't i don't think we're going to be able to like we're going to five and our opponent has they're going to have four cards in hand uh they have four direct damage on the board they discard Gurmag angler really that's an interesting card to have in your deck okay we're at seven Homes of the vein will do okay that did not go as planned so on the play i wonder if we want duress over i don't know probably not let's take out the shred memory i mean shred memory would have found first day that game i'm still going to do duress i think it's fine game three nope this hand's really risky because we don't have a second land and we don't have a first day i think i'm going to keep it anyway though we have the chrome star we just have to hope to get a little bit lucky bridge draw at a block yikes okay we hit their spell bomb, but we don't have a whole lot going on here. Epicure. Draw. Play double prospector, I guess. Pass. Deadly dispute. Volt of whispers and a bump. Ouch. Draw not looking good get in there vampires kiss they can play the Gurmag shortly draw so now we're a black source away there's nothing i can get with matron that color fixes um i just have to attack and pass blood token Discards the Gurmag. There's the Deadly Dispute. So I don't believe I know any cards in their hand anymore. So we go to 11 off the attack. Could be dead. I mean, they have six cards in hand and five mana. Med eight. Med four. And that's all it takes. Let's see what my top card is, if uh, it would have been a black source or not. A slow black source, not good enough. So now we're 3-1 with one round left to go. Let's see if we can bounce back and finish this with a strong 4-1. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms.
the fifth and final round. We're on the draw. This hand seems fine to me. Keep. What are you playing, opponent? Okay, the Boros Bounce deck. No blue this league. Let's just play the bridge and pass. For a Skyfisher, you got it. Draw. Play the star, and then we'll just play the Carnarium, picking up the bridge and pass the turn. Ouch, we go to 18. Synthesizer, revealing another core Skyfisher. If they have an untapped land, they can play the Fisher and pick up the Synthesizer. And they do. Oh, it's the wrong color. Oh, no, never mind. The, sorry. Spells have mana cost. That's not how that works. Uh, my bad. I'm a little bit space brain right now. Okay, so let's just play the Icar Wellspring and pass the turn. On Earth, so we are still lacking all three major combo pieces. We do have the Shred Memory. It's just a little bit slow. Another Synthesizer. Ancient Den. Oriox Sun Chaser. Sure. So we go to 16. Draw. Matron. That gets some of the combo, I guess. Um, let's Deadly Dispute and see what we can find here. Alright, so now we have... A weird way of having all of the combo. It's just really slow for every facet that we do have it. Um, I'm going to cycle this. Okay. I'm going to shred memory for the Putrid Goblin. And it seems weird, but it's actually intentional. So I can discard the Goblin Matron here, which means I can unearth it next turn, which gets me the... Um, Skirk Prospector for essentially two mana. Okay. I'm just begging that our opponent taps out again. We'll take five here, going to 11. Ouch. Sun Chaser, that's a lot of damage. Draw. All right, so what's the play here? They have three cards. Let's they have eight flying. So if I dress them and they bolt me, I'm just dead because I can't interact with their flying creatures. If I unearth the matron, go get prospector, sack the matron, I can win the game, but I would, it would require them having no interaction. Um, I think if I want to duress for some short of mana, I'm winning. So this would be Unearth, Prospector, Future Goblin, and then I'd be one mana short of winning. Let's get back to Matron. Okay, triggers. Prospector. So if I duress here and they kill the matron. If they don't kill the matron, I'd actually... Maybe I messed this up. I might have messed this up. I was supposed to lead on duress. Oh, they just have double removal spell. So no, and nothing mattered. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. Um... I have to hope that they respond and bolt the matron here. Looks like they're a little more disciplined than that. So I think I'm just dead. First day. Look, there's just nothing I can do here. Ooh, okay. There is a way I can win. Our opponent bolts the prospector and then I rummage into another prospector. That wins the game. All right, so I'm going to sacrifice this for red mana. 
Yes. Okay, and now I need to draw into another Prospector. We have three Prospectors in the deck, 41 cards. Okay, we'll discard this Swamp, and we're going to draw a Skirk Prospector right here. Boo! Boo! All right, we have to pass. And then they have a uh, a third piece of removal to remove our major or our putrid goblin. So just insult to injury here. So I guess I could draw the perfect three cards. Maybe I could draw a first day putrid goblin and prospector for my three draws this turn, and that did not happen. Sack this. And we're dead. Okay. Took too long to find the combo pieces that game. We had a few windows to win. We just didn't have anything going on. Um, I think we just want the extra dress here and take out the shred memory. Game number two, we're on the play. Yeah, this hand's great. Keep, 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 keep. Going out with the mulligan. Turn one bridge, pass the turn. Craig, sure. Draw. I'm gonna fire off this duress. Take the removal spell. Carnarium, pick up the bridge, pass the turn. Great furnace. And the sun chaser. Draw. I'm just going to play and cycle the Chrome Star here. There's no point in me playing the uh, the Matron because I don't know which half of the combo I need yet. And apparently the answer is all of it. A lot of lands this game. Synthesizer. Flint Hawk. So if they have removal, they don't want to tap out here, or at least that's what they're trying to get me to think that they have the removal. If they don't, they should just play the Glint Hawk. But I'm wondering what two mana removal they'd have where they wouldn't play the Glint Hawk here. Like, it seems like playing the Glint Hawk's sort of free. It also does, like, pick up a land. They choose not to play the Glint Hawk. That's interesting. Let's see what they're holding. Like Trickery. Okay, we'll just play a bridge and pass. No point in doing anything else here. Flint Hawk. Synthesizer. The Raven Inspector. So they can play the Synthesizer again looking for a land. They had another Synth. That's good for them. And they hit the White Land, so that was literally perfect. Sort of a bummer there, but it happens. Okay, so we know that their last card in hand is a core sky fisher. And now we know that we need to get the prospector here. I don't believe we have a win. I think we're just short on mana. Yes. Grab the prospector. So if I play prospector. Yeah, I'm just short. Um, so I can play the Prospector, sack the Matron to play the Goblin, but then I'm one mana short of first day, so we're just going to pass the turn instead. I have to hope our opponent doesn't draw under removal. We take six, going down to eight. Skyfisher. Picks up Synthesizer, three of Inspector. So what this does is it allows them to leave up the Great Furnace representing having a removal spell. So it's not a tell if they do or don't here. They chose not to play it. That was a tremendous draw. First day. Grab this. Play the Goblin. Auto Yield.
Okay. So they actually had the bolt. But the first they already resolved, that just didn't do anything. Prospector. Now we go infinite. Okay. So much mana. Let's play the introduction of prophecy, see if we can just find the answer. All right, we're going to bottom that, and we might as well keep the Icker. Another goblin. So we have the win. I can sacrifice the goblin matron and then unearth it. Maybe showing my opponent that they're dead will do it. Cast unearth on the matron. Yes. Get the flame wood invoker, flame wave invoker. I don't know why I keep on saying flame wood. All right, so now we have infinite mana, infinite damage. Sacrifice. Round and round we go. And our opponent has conceded the game. Thank you, opponent. And now we're off to the final game, game three. Will we get a pity chest or will we finish like heroes at four and one? I hope we finish 4-1. Just throwing that out there. I like winning. Look at this opening hand. This is terrific. The only thing that this hand doesn't have going on for it is the first day of class, but this is a snap keep in my opinion. There's no way that you ship this. Opponent takes a mulligan. Mountain and relic. Okay. From Star, we can sacrifice that to the Deadly Dispute. Bridge, sure thing, draw. So we have the combo. We just need our opponent to tap out on turn three. Okay. All right, so if I need an untap land, and I believe we've got it. Come on, deck, untap land, please. Vandal, that does it, we win. All right, so I'm just making sure that I have it and I'm not like wrong here. So we play Prospector, we play Putrid Goblin off these two. We sacrifice the Putrid Goblin. Yeah, we got this, okay. Turn three win, what up? Uh, Putrid Goblin. Now we sack the goblin, put that trigger on the stack, we'll cast first day of class. Go get the introduction to prophecy. Okay. And we already have the matron. So we have everything we need here. I just have to go through the combo. Turn three with a relic on the table. Hell yeah. Now we go get the Flame Wave Invoker. It only took until the end of the video, but I got it. Okay. Sack this Goblin some more. Play this. Sack Goblin. Play this. And our opponent concedes. So we are 4-1 heroes with Hamuda's Mogwarts Goblin combo deck. This deck was sweet. Uh, the Kumbaya Witches never came up. We never faced fairies, but this deck felt so much more refined than the first versions of goblins that I played here on this channel. Like this list felt really, really good. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd make any changes. Like I'm not really an expert, so I don't want to say that. Uh, well, say what changes I would make. Like Hamuda has way more reps than I do, but wow, this deck list was good. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep storming, keep comboing, and uh, I appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.